Thanks for stopping my Pizza Garage. Now today I have a couple things I want to share with you. First, I had to get some new shop security. So let me introduce you to Frank. Now you'll see Frank wandering around in different videos as I make them. And let me tell you something, just because he's young doesn't mean he's inexperienced because he is ferocious. Not only that, he responds quickly to any activity. And he's always on the job. What? So take a moment and welcome Frank to Pete's Garage. The second thing I want to share with you is this digital paint gauge made by Carsis. It's really cool. I want to show you what this thing does and why it's handy. Now, previously I've had other kind of paint thickness gauges and, and they're all based on uh, magnets. You use a magnet to determine the thickness of a uh, painting on the surface. This one's different. Not only does it do paint thickness on steels or uh, alloys with iron in it, it does non-iron alloys like aluminums, stainless steels. Let's take a quick look how this thing works and the features of it because it's really cool. First of all, units. It measures units in millimeters. You can change it to mils or you can measure in microns. And you can hear there's an audio uh, message that plays or a little audio signal let you know you're changing modes. So I'll put it back on mills. Now the modes. It has different modes here. There's The first mode is A which is an active mode or adaptive mode. That normalizes the measurements so that uh, you can have easier understanding in most cases. The next mode is an M and that gives you more detailed information about the results and more precise about the measurement. And there's a P. Uh, that displays results uh, the results table for, uh, for calibration and I'll show, talk about calibration in a second then we go over here that goes down to FE FE is for steel based or iron based substrates and non FE substrates let's go and use this thing and I'll show you how easy it is to use and the results uh, how it reads out and we'll use it on some steel and some aluminum alright I have it on and I have it on mills and the first thing I'm going to do is take a measurement off the steel fender here and I got 4.56 mils. Then I'm going to move it to the aluminum hood and you see it doesn't take a reading. So I'll put it on, change the mode to non-FE and now when I put it on the aluminum hood I get 3.93. So 3.93 on the hood and right next to it on the fender I got to change the mode now. Back to iron, steel and we get uh, 4.6 which is neat. So let's change the units to see how much that is in microns. And it's 118 microns. And uh, in millimeters, it's 0.12 millimeters, just to give you an idea of the difference between the measurements. That's really cool. The, uh, the readout is backlit. It's really large, very easy to read, and it has an auto off feature so it shuts off so you don't waste the battery. It comes with everything you need to do a calibration. It has an iron sample, an aluminum sample, and two thicknesses, a 700 micron and a 995 micron with a uh, plus or minus 10 and a plus or minus 7, so it's roughly within 10%. And you simply do that by placing the thickness or the calibration piece over the substrate. You put it in calibration mode and you make sure that it's calibrated properly and you can make adjustments should it be off. Now calibration of all your precision measurement tools, any kind of tool, is very important. I calibrate all of my torque wrenches to make sure that I'm applying the proper torque. I calibrate my calipers, my micrometers. You have to do that on occasion to make sure that you're measuring and applying torques or whatever you're doing, it's doing, it's measuring it properly and you're sure that it's right. Along with that paint thickness gauge, now I can calibrate it to make sure I'm reading paint thickness correctly. Now paint thickness is important and what's the benefit of having something like that? It's great to have it in your pocket if you're going to buy a used car, uh, if you're going to look at a car and you can check real quick to see if any body work was done on it. So get yourself a digital paint thickness gauge. It's a real handy device to have around your shop. Should someone pull up and ask you to look at your car, you can tell very quickly if it's been painted and how much paint is on it. Or carry it with you. It comes with this very nice soft carrying case so you don't damage it. And Carsis has been very nice to provide me with a promotional code. If you go to the description of this video and click on the link and use the promotional code, everyone who subscribes to Pete's Garage or uses that link will get a 10% discount. That's really nice. So, thanks to Carsis, welcome to Frank, and thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage.